And we are back, folks. Sam Webb and Ira Weintraub, a special edition of the Michigan Insider Afternoon Style until 6 p.m. And it's not just any afternoon show. We're live on location at the Al Glick Fieldhouse for Michigan's final spring practice before the spring, big spring. I call it the spring game. Spring, spring practice. Scrimmage, scrimmage. Spring practice. You the know 15th I mean. practice of the, uh, of the spring. You get 15 <laughs> of them. And they did it over, what, five or six weeks? They took the week off. Right. They had a week of practice, took the second week off for spring break, and they came back for the last four weeks straight, I think it was, where they've really gone after it, uh, three, pretty much three practices a week. And the final one, the 15th and final one, is coming up on Saturday. But this one, the 14th one, as Brady, as we mentioned in the last segment, and Brady told us, is this is the one that a lot of coaches really point to because the one on Saturday is more public. So they scale certain things back uh, when they go out to the stadium. But this practice, and not to say the Saturday's practice isn't important, as we discussed as well, uh, but this one here, the 14th of 15 practices. Looking forward to watching that as they line up some stuff for the uh, opening drills and stuff they're going to do uh, coming up in a little bit. In the meantime, we have some coordinators to get to here on the show. Absolutely. So we'll start off first with a new kid on the block, changing things over on the offensive side of the ball, molding some quarterbacks. Michigan offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Doug Nussmeyer. Sam Webb here on a special edition of the Michigan Insider on Sports Talk 1050 WTKA online at WTKA.com here with Michigan offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Doug Nussmeyer. So, coach, uh, first of all, how does it feel your first spring here in Ann Arbor? Cold. <laughs> uh, it, it's been great. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good work in here. The kids have worked extremely hard. Obviously, anytime you're installing a new system, it takes time. But uh, we've had great effort. We still need a lot more consistency in our performance. But very excited about where we've gone from practice one here to the end of spring. You know, not going to ask you to reveal any trade secrets, but one of the things that we've heard a lot about is pace. Pace of practice. Does pace of practice correlate to pace of play? For you guys? Well, I think the biggest thing is you always want to be able to control the tempo of the game on offense, whether that is to speed the game up or to slow the game down. So we practice at a fast tempo for a lot of reasons. One, it forces our guys to play fast and to focus and to always be concentrated. The other thing, too, is it does allow us to pick the tempo of the game up. Now, so what's your philosophy, and this is probably something that will develop during the course of the season, but just going in, what's your philosophy on on audibles is that something that you handle the package completely from the sideline or do you empower your quarterbacks to kind of do that on the field we'll do a lot of different things whether it comes from the sideline whether it comes from the quarterback but we'll implement different types of packages by game plan to how we think we can take advantage of the defense in different situations and like i said some of that will come from the sideline some will come from the quarterback here with michigan offensive Offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Doug Nussmeyer, Sports Talk 1050 WTKA. So you get in, you're able to get hands on with the guys. Just your, you know, your spring practice impressions of of your group. How quickly have they have they picked things up? Where are you compared to where you thought you would be at this point in time? Well, you know, I don't know that you ever get to where you want to be. And we've got a long way to go. But like I said before, the work ethic. Um, their commitment, the buying in, it's been outstanding from the players. We're a young, young unit. You know, we only got one senior, five juniors. So we've got a lot of young players that are out there right now. So their learning curve obviously is a lot steeper than when you have a group of veterans. So it's been a learning uh, experience for everybody. I, I do believe we're getting better each and every day now. We've got a substantial way still to go, but really, really pleased about our commitment. If we can continue to progress through the summer so that when we come back for, for day one of fall camp, uh, you know, not on practice one again, but on practice 16, so to say, we'll be in really good shape. Has a clear hierarchy begun to develop for you even at this point? Well, you know, we always want to create competition. And um, I think in this game, every day you're competing, not not whether it's on your roster or, you know, in college football, you're always recruiting. So uh, the players uh, should want competition and embrace it because it makes you better. And, and that's what we've tried to preach is we're trying to create competition at every position on the offense. And, you know, you do see, start to see some players start to separate. But uh, once again, we come back in fall camp, we're going to compete. All right, so I'll, I'll mention the guy, and you just give me, you know, the things that you can share about how he's performed, where, what improvements he needs to make moving forward, that kind of thing, uh, starting with, of course, Devin Gardner. I think Devin's had a really good spring. He's really spent a lot of time off the field learning the system. He's, you know, been in each and every day doing extra things, uh, really committed himself to trying to learn the system and the intricacies of the system. You know, it's one thing just to kind of know what we're doing, but it's another another thing to know really 
what really is the core of the play and how, what are the little intricacies that, that help it be successful versus all defenses. So can't be uh, more happy with the way he's applied himself. I still think he's developing, you know, a lot of stuff under center and some things we're, we're asking him to do. But obviously his strength with his running ability is something that we'll play to. All right. And then, of course, Shane Morris. I think Shane's done a really good job, too, of really buying into what we're doing. He's a young player. He's got a rifle for an arm. Um, obviously, Devin's a little more experienced just because he's been around a little bit longer. So some of the things that Shane's learning, um, they take a little bit longer. Young player, higher learning curve. So, um, But happy with the way he's applied himself. He's really gotten better each and every day and really, really think he'll make bigger strides, strides when we go back and do things again this summer. Gotcha. Now, Russell Bellamy, a kid coming off a year off of football. How's Russell progressed? I think Russell's done a good job. Um, he's, you know, really gotten the the, um, the system, and he really grasped what we're trying to do, uh, you know, from a check standpoint and those type of things, and, and really understands why we're doing what we're doing. So uh, he's obviously still, you know, coming back off that knee and um, gets better athletically and strength-wise, I think, every time we go out. All right, Wilton Spade, uh, you, an early enrollee and a guy who I know well, a lot of swagger in that young man. I wonder if that's translated even early in his career at Michigan. Well, college football can be very humbling. You know? So <laughs> when you talk about being an early enrollee and you come here and uh, to have the 15 practices, uh, you, you just can't say enough about what a head start that gives him going into the fall. And the expectation we talked about before the spring was we're not going to evaluate where Wilton's at right now. This was about learning and, and going out in the field and making mistakes by repetition because that's the only way you learn. So he's learning everything. Every time he goes out there, it's something new. But very pleased with where he's coming from practice one to practice 15. And like, uh, like all the young guys, I think he'll make big strides through the summer here. Here with Michigan offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Doug Nussmeyer for a few minutes more in Sports Talk 1050 WTKA online at WTK.com. You're more than a quarterbacks coach. Obviously, you're coordinating offense. One of the big points of emphasis for you, the running game. So, you know, I know you're going to say you're not where you want to be, but at the same time, what kind of strides have you made with implementing the kind of mentality, uh, the kind of aggression that you want to see in your run game? The biggest thing with the running game is we've got to get communication. We had too many lost yardage plays last year. We still continue to struggle with that, and we're, and we're trying to, you know, create a culture where we communicate in each and every play. Because if even if we're wrong, if we're all wrong together, we're still going to be okay. You know, it might not be exactly the way we want to block something, but if we all do it, you know, together, you're not going to have, you know, free hats as we call them in the backfield hitting the runner. So the biggest thing right now is securing the line of scrimmage. We need to find better consistency and performance in our running game. All right, Coach, there are going to be a number of fans that are going to have an opportunity to experience the uh, the coaching style of Doug Nussmeyer. The Women's Academy is coming up. The men's experience is uh, going to come up as well. When those fans who will be athletes for a day come by your station, what kind of coaching can they expect from Coach Nussmeyer? I guess you'd have to ask the, the quarterbacks about that. But I tell you what, when it comes to quarterback position, we say it all the time. It's always about your feet and your eyes. So we've got to play with our feet and our eyes. And, uh, you know, we'll be fired up. We'll get after it a little bit.